What's up, Samurai? We are back again. Oh, good lord, this game. We are back again for some more Wayfinder, and this is going to be a different video than usual because I'm kind of going to just talk transparent and candidly with you guys. Uh, I want to be very clear about a couple things because I've been going through comments and I have noticed some Discord um, or discourse discord what's the what's the right word either way i've been noticing a lot of your guys comments and more particularly this is to address some of the more negative comments that i've seen because i know that there's a lot of you guys that are at the end game or using your meta builds and stuff like that that are wondering how is this guy not end game yet you know this game's been out for how long and i don't even have one of my characters maxed out one I played this game during the beta and during the beta I clocked in about 40 hours uh, I got one of my characters to like level 25 or something like that maybe maybe like level 30 I honestly don't remember uh, but content was a struggle at that point there wasn't a lot of the quests that we have now that give you a lot more XP uh, and ultimately all of my content got reset and then there was the next beta. And then I had access to the press release version of this game. And that I ended up dedicating about 30 to 40 hours to, which was just me recording like all of the early tutorials and junk like that. I, I'm, I'm saying 30 to 40 hours during the press release wasn't gameplay. That was including the amount of time that it took to end up making all of those different tutorials and stuff for you guys that I had go out day one. And since then, Frankly speaking, I've been taking my time with this game. I am well aware that I am progressing very slowly, and I am also aware that that can be very frustrating for a lot of you that are already at the end game and more so uh, want to see me at the end game. You know, like that's kind of the thing that I fully understand is that even though some of you say it in a very negative sense, I know that you actually mean well because you just want to see me at the end game. It's like, how, how are you still not at the end game, right? Now, that said, again, you gotta consider that with all of those, you know, previous play tests that I've had with this game, I am worried about burning out, okay? So I'm taking it very slowly, and from all of my buddies that I've heard that have rushed through this game and no life this game, and got to the end game, they've all quit. There's barely anybody I know within my close-knit circle of friends that still plays this game unfortunately for me because it means i don't have anybody to play with and that's why i'm always in dungeons alone all the time now another very very serious topic that i want to mention which you've probably seen me talk about many many times is the xp boost so within the last few like two patches we were supposed to get a big boost to the amount of XP grind that we get from completing dungeons and completing bosses and stuff like that. I think it's supposed to be like three times the amount, which would be quite significant, especially for those of you that have been putting in the grind time, because I'll admit I have been grinding off camera a little bit here and there. Not too much time has been dedicated to that because I know that the main quest will get at least one character to max level and one weapon to max level. And anything further than that is a chore because the amount of XP that you get in this game is just meek. Like it's really, really bad. And there's been that internal conflict with me when I'm sitting there thinking, man, I want to play Wayfinder. I want to grind. And then I hold myself back and go, why would I bother grinding now for like five hours when there's going to end up being an XP boost that's going to make that three times faster, you know? And on top of all of that, one of the main things that you might not know about me, because maybe you're just coming to the channel and Wayfinder is the first game that you've seen on the channel. I know it's not very likely with how YouTube works and everything like that, but, but I value my first-hand experience of things in my videos. So I know it might seem like I'm going through the game really, really slowly, but I enjoy having my first-hand experience of, oh, I, my first time doing this dungeon, I wanna do it on camera. So you guys can see my first-hand reaction to it. Uh, and the main reason is because I'm playing the long game, because I'm planning on playing this game for a very, very long time. And frankly speaking, no offense to those of you that are at the end game, I'm probably going to be playing this game a lot longer than you. And the main reason for that is because I know how to pace myself with these types of games. I should know 
I've been playing another very similar collectathon MMO game for over eight years. <laughs> you know, so that's kind of where uh, and how I'm approaching Wayfinder. I'm approaching it very similarly to how I approach Trove on my channel right now, because I know that burnout is a thing. And on top of that, my mental health is a very, very high priority for me because I used to push myself to the brink of exhaustion, trying to not only just get to the top of the charts, but also to get the videos for you guys where I would rush through the game as quickly as possible and so on and so forth. So if you'll indulge me and if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna play through this game as slowly as I want to. At the very least, I'm still trying to go through a dungeon and share a new firsthand experience with you guys per episode. And then I'm kind of grinding stuff off camera just to get my power uh, my power rank and gear score a little bit higher so that in the next video I'm, I'm not getting as frustrated because I know that that's a big thing and probably a big reason why so many of you are you know like oh man why aren't you at the end game yet you're still struggling with this because I'm going through all of this solo because there's barely anybody playing this game right now at least on PC anyways I mean you know there's still relative player base but usually when i play i play during weird hours and uh let's be real one of the worst features of this game is the fact that there's like 50 different multipliers to all of the different dungeons so in order to actually play with other people you guys know this i would have to load up this dungeon and another player would have to load up the same dungeon but on top of that they also have to have the same sphere or difficulty they have to have the same mutators all of these parameters have to come into play and the stars have to align and also have the servers communicate and think that these two players match and they should play together because otherwise more often than not you'll see that i end up playing things solo now that said as we've finally started to get to some of the more end game dungeons i'm starting to run into more players and that's wonderful it's definitely got me a lot more excited for the end game because it means that not only that but i can also start playing with more of you guys because i already know you're all at the end game aren't you aren't you <laughs> if you're even still playing but let's be real here you know let's 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 go a little step further here there's not much content in this game right now right like you know the game kind of had a soft early access launch that charged people a considerable amount of money considering the sheer lack of content and bugs that are in this game like i this is probably the worst early access launch i have ever seen for a video game like legit server issues day one that's fine i can understand that server issues for a solid week inexcusable this game was not ready when it came to early access hell it's still not ready it's still broken there you know there's still so many bugs and so many crashes and stuff uh, especially for you guys on playstation or maybe maybe not all of you guys on playstation but i'm speaking from experience with my uh friends you know they're playing on playstation and they say that it crashes all the time for them so you know sound off in the comments just if you want maybe the game runs like butter for you but it doesn't for me and that's another big factor as to why i get like so frustrated because all of these little things kind of eat away at me until i'm just like angry you know and i try my best not to let that seep into the videos but it happens especially when there's more and more problems that we start running into as we get to the more difficult sections of the game where dodging and you know the different combat mechanics matter a lot more and i can fully acknowledge that you know i i mess up all the time in this game and don't dodge enemies correctly but at the same time there is still definitely some latency issues and server problems that end up having a lot of dodges you know the dodge window just doesn't work or whatever but anyways now that's just me like criticizing the game and if i criticize the game for what it's worth like yeah i'd say that this game is still very very low on the charts right now and i wouldn't recommend it like i would and i wouldn't it, you know i enjoy this game and i love it for what it is flaws and all well maybe not the flaws but if we just criticize this game and critique it 
it's not really there yet and i'm hoping that you know as more content gets added to the game and as the xp boost gets added to the game then i'll actually have more incentive to grind I, i'm hoping and expecting a lot of that to hit when we start seeing the next wayfinder grendel and maybe at that point i'll start regularly like it'll kind of inject new life into the game for a lot of people myself included where i'll be able to start a new character and just start grinding that character up and up and up because i don't know anyways that's that's basically all i had to say now i'm just going in circles so hopefully that answered any concerns that you guys and gals had you gotta understand i'm a content creator first you know <laughs> i'm obviously like doing this as a living and frankly speaking Wayfinder is like, well, it's Wayfinder, you know, like we're playing the long game here with when the game ends up going free to play and everything like that, because by then a lot of people that are at the end game complaining that I'm not at the end game will have quit. I'll still be playing it. And by then I would hope that I'm actually like powerful and at the end game and stuff. And I mean, on top of all of that, I don't really, you know, I play this game with controller, <clears throat> despite the fact that the meta is the shotgun. And that's the thing too, is a lot of this information, you know, when I share my information and tutorials with you guys, it's not irrelevant. Just because I'm not at the end game doesn't mean that I'm not sharing the correct info, you know, which doesn't necessarily mean that I'm 100% correct with it all the time as well, because, you know, I get all my info from uh, friends and the wiki and so on and so forth. And I try to present that in a video that's as concise and to the point as possible. Unlike this video where I just rambled for 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. Smash like so for more. Leave a nice comment. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the game as much as I am, despite its issues, I still am having fun. And the main reason for that is because I'm taking my time with it. But regardless, I hope to see you again.